In this video, I'm going to deploy the Hello World Vue.js app that I created in a previous video to the cloud hosting platform Heroku, which will make the app accessible on the internet. Now, the first step is to create a production build of the app. So I'm going to open up VS Code. I'm going to stop the um, app running by uh, hitting Control and C. I'll st start a new terminal as well. So the first thing I want to do is type in npm run build. Then I want to do an npm install express serve static okay, I want to go into the project directory itself I want to create a new file called server.js I want to add some code in there I'll put this code in the description as well so you can copy it Save that. I'm going to go into the package.json file. Underneath this line here, let's create a new line. Start node server.js. Save that. And then finally go into git ignore and delete the third line slash dist. So once that's done, I want to actually go into my Heroku account. Um, the account is free. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for it on this page here. I already have an account, so I'll just log in. So once you've signed up and then logged in to the Heroku dashboard, you'll be presented with the Create New App option here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new app. I'm just going to call it Hello World. I'm just going to give it uh, a unique name. Choose a region and then create app. You need to go to the deploy tab. And there are some instructions here. The first one is to install the Heroku CLI. So I'll go ahead and do that. Download and install. Now this is for Windows 10. So once that's downloaded, go ahead and install it. Just choose the default options.
go back into Visual Studio Code. You need to close VS Code and then reopen it after the installation of the Heroku CLI. Okay, then we can log in to Heroku using the Heroku login command. And just log in. And go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay. So from within the project directory, we need to run the git init command. Now you may get this error if you haven't installed git uh, on the machine because this was a clean install. Um, if, uh, if anyone's watched the previous video, it was a clean install machine. So at this point you need to install git. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So once that's downloaded, go ahead and run it. Default options. So do a git init, this should work now. Yeah, so that's initialized the git repository. Uh, so if we go back to the Heroku deploy page, there are some instructions here that we can follow. We've done the git init, then we need to just copy this line here, paste that in. Then we can follow these instructions here, git add, git commit, and then git push. So the first thing is git add, this adds all the files from directories. So git commit. So our initial commit of hello world. JS app okay so that ran successfully so after the commit we need to type git push Roku master Okay, so once that's been deployed, we'll go back to the dashboard and we can open app. So that shows that the app is now running at this URL. So that's available online now. I want to make some changes just to show how to then go through that process again. If we're just going to Uh, back to the app view page.
Okay, PNG. So I'll just change that. You can check that it works locally. So that's running locally, so now we need to just deploy it. So go to the steps that begin git add. Then git commit. Minor changes. Get push. This is deploy. Go back to the dashboard. Open app. And you can see that the online version now has the new image and the new text.